All right, this is a test prep question number three for a small engine repair certification. Um, the question is, a safe blade speed is necessary for safe lawnmower operation and the maximum speed the blade tip uh, should spin is 9,000 feet per minute. Uh, technician A says one way to decrease the speed is to change the governor spring and technician B says that the stretch of the governor spring could be limited to decrease the speed. Who is correct? So I guess the mower in question is uh, operating faster than it should, so they need to uh, decrease the RPM. Uh, you have four options, four possible answers. Uh, only technician A, only technician B, both technician A and B, or neither technician A nor B. Uh, the correct answer is A, uh, only technician A is correct. So here is a uh, popular lawnmower engine. It's a uh, Briggs & Stratton 650 series and it uses a mechanical governor system. Uh, you have the governor arm here, uh, which kind of runs underneath the flywheel, and then a uh, linkage connects to the arm, runs underneath the flywheel, and connects directly to the throttle on the carburetor. Then you have a governor spring right here, which connects here, and then to the throttle by way of the uh, governor linkage. Uh, an important thing to remember with these governor systems on small engines, and it doesn't matter, um, it's the same for mechanical, pneumatic, or electronic governor systems. Uh, the spring force, force created by the spring, is always used to open the throttle wide open. Uh, right now this throttle is in, in a wide open position. If I was to start this mower, um, the governor would kick in and it would pull or oppose the spring force and it would pull this throttle to a more closed position. And when the spring force is equal to the force created by the governor, uh, the throttle will stop at a specific uh, position and the mower should run at a relatively uh, constant RPM. Um, in the question, technician A says that if you change the spring, you can, ch you can decrease the engine speed. Well, that is correct because if I put a weaker spring that creates less force on this engine, this governor system will be able to pull the throttle to a more closed position and that will decrease engine speed. Uh, technician B said that if you limit the amount of stretch, you can decrease engine speed. Well, that is incorrect because if I limit the amount of stretch, I'm going to limit the amount uh, the governor can pull this throttle to a more closed position and that will not decrease engine speed. So that is why um, technician A is correct. A lot of the uh, questions about the governor systems, they try and trip you up with questions about the spring, um, governor spring. Just always remember that the tension or force created by the governor spring is used to open the throttle to a more open position. Um, and just knowing that, you can answer a lot of these questions. So anyway, thanks for watching.